an amazing, fun, and safe day. So I am super excited for two reasons. As you can see, I just put up a new logo, so I hope you guys like it. I put a poll up on Twitter, and everybody seemed to like the one with the smiling face. Also, now this may not necessarily change anything for you guys, but I finally have the webcam somewhat working on the computer. I still I can't do face cam stuff. It's not really wanting to allow me to do the face cam record and the screen record and all that at the same time. So I got to play around with that. It might just be the computer that I'm using. It's kind of an older computer, not a lot of memory. Uh, but I can finally do the voiceover from the same computer that I play the game on, which means I'm not having to go back and forth transferring stuff between the desktop computer and then over to my tablet in order to do the voiceover and then back over to the desktop computer in order to play around with it some more and all that. So that does remove a step, so I am super happy about that. So anyway, this is, I want to say it's episode three of, the, uh, of this little negative traits series. And as I said before, this was meant to be kind of a combination between the uh, kind of like an experimental type of thing as well as a little bit of a let's play. So I, the experimental part of it was that I just wanted to see like what would happen and I'm, I'm sure that people already know the answer to this and then I could have looked it up and all that. But I kind of wanted to see what would happen if I gave my Sims like completely negative traits. Like I know I, there's a couple of people that like do like they give them like a like two po okay or positive traits and then like one negative just to make things fun and so I wanted to up the ante on that and give them everything negative so they don't have any positive traits whatsoever and then um, if you go into like their likes and dislikes so I kind of like randomly chose like what their dislikes would be or not so much, I didn't use the game to randomly choose, I, or what I did was I used the game, excuse me, I'm talking at my, <laughs> I'm talking at my, my, my arse end. So I used the game to randomize their likes, but then I manually went in and whatever it said that they, whenever it said that they liked something, I switched that to a dislike. So I did use the game to randomly choose their likes and dislikes, but then I went in and changed those likes to a dislike. And then to make it even more fun, I made the house have things that the sims didn't like so like the colors they didn't like and the activities they didn't like so i like um like one of the sims doesn't like fitness actually a couple of them don't like fitness so i deliberately went in and gave them like a, a, a work table <laughs> um and then there's like another sim who doesn't like mixology and so guess what they've got a bar and as you can see that just popped up that was the other fun one so the sim that doesn't like mixology which is richard um which he's hiding right now. Uh, but Richard is the one that doesn't like mixology, so guess what his career is? It's mixology. Yep, we're going to have fun with these guys. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> um, so, I think it was in the... And hopefully I'm not doing a spoiler here, but I think it was the last episode we ended up with a fire in the kitchen, so we had to kind of uh, uh, replace a few things there. And of course, we are going to make Richard, who absolutely hates mixology, we're going to have him make a drink. So yeah. Uh, and so that's the other kind of thing that I've been doing with these guys, is that like, I kind of, I'm kind of trying to let the Sims sort of tell me what they want to do, but yet in a negative way. It's like if they have like a whim, or like they seem to have like something they wanted to try to do, I kind of try to like make things negative. Um, so yeah. Um, and we're also, uh, we're uh, playing around with some relationships in a negative way. So I can't remember his name, Jacob, which I can't see right now. Jacob has been having some really big inter bad interactions with, I be believe it's his uncle. I need to go get my uh, notes. I'm going to have to pause here for a second so I can go grab my notes. Okay, so yes, Jacob and his uncle Lionel Collin, who is his uh, is Jacob's mother's brother. They, I've been kind of pushing a little bit of a negative, uh, as you can see, a kind of a negative uh, relationship between those two. So those two don't get along. Mostly, it's been Jacob. Jacob has got kind of the evil trait, and so 
we've been just kind of pushing some negativity uh, between him and his uncle. Um, like I said, it's mostly been on the part of Jacob, so he kind of taunts his uncle and and just refuses to listen to him and all kinds of things like that. So, yeah. So this has kind of been a fun challenge. I've got this episode and then I've got one more in the queue that I need to get set up and put together. So that's pretty much um, where we're at. I think also, I think it was this episode, that um, surprisingly, uh, or well, maybe not, uh, Shannon is expecting. So I'm, I, I, I know I'm kind of jumping the gun a bit here, but I believe it was in this episode that she is expecting, which is going to be uh, quite interesting because uh, as you can see, this house is not very big and yeah, there's not a lot, there's not a lot of space in this house. The to the, they already have the toddlers sleeping in the parents' room with Shannon and Richard and then uh, Jacob has to share his room with his uncle and his aunt, I believe. Yeah, I believe it would be his aunt. So I don't know where we're going to be sticking a crib in this. And this is really meant to be just kind of a short, um, short little episode, to be honest. It's um, a short series. This is only a four-part series. I just kind of wanted to try this out. So I have gone back to doing stuff for my color challenge, which I also have going on. I kind of took a break for it, break from it for a little bit. So I've got the, um, oh, what am I thinking? I've got the color challenge thing. Uh, I've got the green, no, um, I've, I can't think now. Uh, okay, so I, I, I've gotten up, uh, we finished up through the green color or the color green, excuse me, English. <laughs> English is my primary language and yet I can't speak a word of it. So we've gotten through the green challenge, the uh, green color, color green. <laughs> All right, sorry about that guys. I had to uh, stop and fix something on my computer real quick. But anyway, uh, so we've gotten through the color green before I had to end up taking a short, I ended up taking a break from it. Uh, so I've got my color blue pretty, uh, I've got that screen record done for both the cast and the house. So I just have to kind of edit the video and then do the voiceover for it. And then I've also got started on the purple. So those, those will be coming back to my channel and we're going to be continuing with the teen and younger sis series. Uh, so, and I, you know, I have completely forgotten the names of those Sims. Um, I believe it's Julianne was our child, and then, oh, jeez, I can't even remember the name of, of the, uh, our uh, teen, or the teen, who is actually now a young adult, and Julianne, I think, aged in, yeah, Julianne is aged into a teen in my Teen and Younger Sis series. Julianne, who was the toddler, or the younger sister, has aged into a teen, and the what was the teen is now a young adult, and I have completely blanked on her name. That is so embarrassing. Uh, but anyway, so we're, we're finishing up with that series. I don't know how many episodes there's going to be, because uh, I, I can't predict very well how many episodes there will be until Julianne uh, ages up into a young adult, and that's when the series will end. When she ages up to a young adult, that series will be closing out and completed. And right now the goal in that series is to try to get her and Alex Goth to, I wanted to try to get him to a, to a romantic relationship, but that is proving very difficult. So we may have to go with just trying to get them to at least be friends. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so one thing I do want to make sure I mention real quick. So for those of you that follow uh, Gaming with Char, uh, here on YouTube, she has a shell challenge going on. So if you go into the EA gallery and type in the hashtag Gaming with Char with a capital G, you will see a shell challenge thing. You can download it to your game and then uh, kind of you know play around with it. Uh, so the rules are you cannot move any of the walls 
in the video or in the shell. So you can add walls and windows and doors and things like that, but you cannot move any of the pre-existing walls. Also, you um, so she will be showcasing those on a later stream in I think it's the second of September if I remember correctly. I will link to her YouTube channel in the description box. Make sure you go to her channel and check her out. She's an amazing uh, YouTuber, amazing streamer. We have lots of fun in her in her uh, streams and everything. So go over there, like her video, subscribe, or excuse me, uh, subscribe to her channel. Uh, like like her videos too. That, that, I'm sure she'd appreciate that too. Uh, and then go to the EA Gallery, type in Gaming with Char to see the latest uh, shell challenge. She will, I believe, be showcasing some of those on September, I want to say September 2nd. It'll be the first uh, day in September that she streams, which is on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So yeah, it would be on September 2nd. She will be showcasing some of those uh, in her channel. So anyway, yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there real quick. Like I said, the uh, link to her YouTube channel as well and all that will as well as the hashtag for the uh, shell challenge will be in the description box also she does on her live streams she we are do, she's doing the Disney challenge right now so uh, check out some of those guys and then um, if you want to create a sim to possibly be used in the Disney, a uh, sim, pr uh, sim prints to be used in the Disney challenge. Uh, Disney challenge that she's doing. You can submit it under the hashtag Gaming with Char. It is a first come, first serve uh, basis as far as the sim that she uses in her uh, in her game. But anyway, so there's that. Just wanted to throw that there. Um, as for my own channel, uh, I've got some, I've got a few things kind of in the queue to work on uh, for my own channel. I'm, like I said, I'm finishing up with the rainbow build, uh, which was meant to be in pastels. It was supposed to be, uh, uh, the, the challenge was, the, yeah, the challenge as it were, was the, the you're supposed to create a house in all one color. I decided to do a house and a sim both in like in one color. So you would do one house for the color red, one house for the color orange, one house for the color yellow, so on and so forth. And I decided to add sims into that as well. And I I, I put in a poll like way back when I was thinking about doing this to, to ask like what people thought as far as the shade I should use for my color challenge, if I should go for darks, just regular shade, uh, pastel shade, things like that. And so it, people tended to think that I should, the idea was that I should, or not the idea, the opinion was that I should do it in pastel. So that's kind of what I've been trying to do in the, in the color challenge. To be honest, I'm not so sure how well I succeeded in doing so, but that was the idea was to do that in pastel. So, uh, so we're finishing that up. I'm getting towards the end of that one. I told you about I told I told you about the teen and younger sis series, uh, and I think I'm probably going to be doing as far as the let's play. I think after the teen and younger sis series. I will be probably doing the homeless challenge, I think will be my next one to try to do. We'll see. Uh, and then as far as a cast and build challenge, I'm not sure. I've got a couple different ideas in the queue that I could try to do. So um, if you follow me on Twitter, uh, it's at Pioneer Girl 08 Sims, and it's not spelled out. So, um, if you go to the front of the video, there was that little like logo thing that's got my uh, my sim, my Twitter handle on it for my Sims. 
And also in the description box, there is a link or should be a link to my Twitter in there as well. I'm going to be probably at some point later on putting up a poll. It's, it, I'm going to wait a little bit before I do a poll because I'm still kind of finishing up with the color challenge and the teen and younger sis series. And so we're not quite ready for the next one. Uh, but I probably will put up a poll later uh, at some later point to determine what my next uh, cast and build challenges will be. And then uh, for, the, for the Let's Play, it's going to be probably uh, the Homeless Challenge, more than likely, because I already did put a poll out on that a while back. And the, uh, the idea was to do the Homeless, uh, the homeless Challenge it was kind of the one that won on that one. So I think that's what I'll be doing there. So one of the hardest parts about me doing voiceovers on a let's play like this, or really any let's play, is that I am not real good at doing voiceovers for let's plays and such like that. I am, uh, I guess the word is jealous. Um, that's not, that seems kind of like a strong word. I don't know that that's really the word I want to use, but um, envy. I am, I feel like I'm envious of some of these uh, YouTubers out here who just do these absolutely amazing, like storytelling voiceovers, uh, or you know, or or uh, whatever in the Sims games and and all that. And, like they they tell stories as they you know as the Sims are doing whatever they're doing. They're doing these amazing like storytelling things, and I I just feel like I don't even know what's going on with my Sims right now. Um, and that's the hard part about doing voiceover, uh, is that I'm doing it, I'm kind of like watching the screen and I'm doing the voiceover and so I don't even know like what my sims are doing or what I had them do because I've, I did the screen record several days ago and now I'm going back in and doing the voiceover and I don't even remember what I had my sims do. I mean I have some like general ideas of what they did. But like, I don't even know that they're doing something until I see them do it or click on it. And it's like, oh yeah, by the way, they're doing this. And I, like, you can already see what they're doing. Like you can already see on the screen what they're doing. And I'm telling you what they're doing while they're doing it. And, and yeah, I'm, I'm just terrible at when, <laughs> at least I feel like I am. I feel like I'm just terrible at these voiceover things. I, I do want to try to play around and see if I can figure out a way to maybe like do like the screen recording and the uh, voiceover done at the same time. So I'm not gonna do a face cam, there won't be a face cam, but I'm gonna see if I can figure out a way to do it so that like I'm recording the screen, uh, you know, recording the screen and then kind of talking at the same time as I'm playing. So I'm gonna play around with that. I don't know if I'm gonna put anything up in a video with that just yet because I do need to play around with it a bit. And just a minute ago, and I, I was talking while I saw it pop up, that uh, Shannon is indeed expecting. So it is this episode that Shannon is, does find out that she is expecting another child. So I can just imagine that she is just like, oh boy. Um, and to be honest, I don't remember if she wants to have kids or not. I don't have any way to go in because I'm not in the game right now. I am. In a, I am in the screen record, so I can't really go in and see how she feels about having kids uh, in, in the game. But I can just imagine that in her current setup, with the crowded house and everything, she's just not super happy. She's like, oh no, um, Richard, honey, guess what? I've got bad news for you. Uh, this is not going to be good. <laughs> um, I, and I, yeah, we won't be playing playing that part out. So I don't think the because uh, like I said, I have this this episode, this series, this episode, and I've got one more, um, and she has and she has does not have the baby in either one of those. So I don't know that we'll be playing through to, through till she has the baby. I think it's going to be actually ending. It ends well before that. So, but yeah, I can just imagine that if, if we were to, if this was to continue, she would not be super happy. I don't know though. Uh, so I do hope you guys enjoy this little short series that I played around with. Uh, like I said, it was, it was just a little bit of a fun, sort of an experimental short, uh, super short let's play thing. And uh, so 
anyway, if you do if you do like it, uh, go ahead and you know give this video a like. Also, uh, check out what happened in the first two episodes in the series. Those will be in my uh, Let's Play playlist, and I will link also at the end card. I will link to the first series in the episode, so you can go back to that one if you missed that that'll be there uh, and I will try to link also to the other two series in the description box if I can get that to work right um, and if you do like the videos that I put up and you are enjoying my channel uh, if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you know when I put up new videos uh, I do try to put up videos at least a couple times a week. I did try to do it on a schedule so I would be like consistently putting out videos on a schedule. Right now I'm really struggling to get that done. I wanted to do like Mondays and Fridays and then maybe like Wednesdays if it worked out. But it's I'm kind of struggling with trying to get that consistent schedule just because of the way th things run in my house and, and obligations and things like that. But I do put out videos at least twice a week, or you know, yeah, usually about twice a week, um, occasionally three. So yeah, um, so if you hit the notification bell, you'll be able to see when I put up new videos. And um, yeah, I would like, I am, I think, one away from 75 subscribers on my channel at the moment. That's as of the last time I checked this morning, it was at 74 subscribers. So I'm really close to reaching a goal of 75, at, you know, baby steps, you know, baby steps. I would like to get to, if at all possible, to 100 by the end of the month. That would be absolutely, absolutely amazing if I could do that. So, um, so yeah, I, I, I really like to see that happen for the channel and uh, try to get the views up as well. Uh, and so I think that is about all that I I don't know I've got about like eight minutes left in this let's play in this episode and I am running out of things to say uh, with what's going on so I think that I will maybe end my voiceover and just let you guys enjoy the rest of the video don't forget to go back to episode one if you missed that and kind of catch up on with what's going on. You don't have to. I mean, like, there's no, like, it's not, it, it's a continual, uh, it's a continual series, but I don't know that it's totally necessary for you to go to episode one, but I would greatly appreciate it if you did, you know, go back to episode one and kind of see what's going on with that because like it's like in episode two which was the last episode there was a fire i forget what happened in episode one episode one was pretty much a lot of jacob just really having some negative interactions and and fighting and such with his uncle and this episode we found out that shannon is pregnant with her fourth child and I don't remember what happens in episode four, to be honest. So you'll just have to, you'll just have to stay tuned to see what happens in episode four. Because to be honest, I don't even remember what happens in episode four, and I uh, record, played and recorded it. So anyway, guys, I hope you all have an amazing day where, uh, wherever you're at. Stay safe and enjoy your day. Goodbye.